doing that, okay? There's a splashing challenge. ahead of storms for forecast purposes and then once the storms go we release larger balloons inside the storms uh, for getting the meteorological data and electrical data inside the storms. If you'll look uh, to the left you'll see the data recording system that's a 14 track analog high speed tape recorder on which we record all our lightning data and the lightning instruments uh, are on top of the mobile laboratory. As we move internal to the van, there are a number of, uh, of uh, recording systems. We use standard uh, VCRs for recording the video data. Uh, the video cameras are remotely controlled from in here and we're able to point them at uh, both lightning and cloud features. We have a uh, air, two aircraft type Loran C navigation systems uh, that allow us to track the position of the uh, mobile laboratory. There are various printers here for, uh, for the navigation and for the balloon telemetry data. This is a, a multi-purpose rack here. A primary feature is the, that it's the control center for the video cameras that are mounted on top, both black and white in color. As you see, we have the date and time encoded as well as our uh, latitude and longitude from an, a, uh, a second aircraft type Loran navigation receiver. Our time code generator which drives time on all data uh, recorders in the uh, mobile laboratory is synchronized to WWV to within a millisecond. Uh, these are the control units for the cameras here uh, and other associated electronics. Uh, I think it uh, might be of interest to your audience to note that we are part of the amateur spotter uh, network and so when we are out in the field we also monitor uh, amateur radio frequencies both voice and the so-called packet technology which is digital transfer of uh, severe weather information for the spotter networks. We can look to the other side of the mobile laboratory at, uh, at the second rack which is used to control the uh, sensitivities of all the lightning instrumentation that's up on top of the mobile lab. The person who sits here is responsible for all of the quality control for data while we're in the field. Just behind this recorder and out of sight is a uh, bottle of helium which allows us to fly two small balloons for soundings. 
when we launch balloons into, into storms that carry the electric field instrumentations, we fly big balloons, uh, and in that case it takes a second vehicle. The uh, navigator or the, it sits in the passenger seat and is responsible for getting us on the storms and, of course, for safety uh, relative to possible tornadic formation. Communication gear that you see up there is a two-meter uh, radio that operates an, on government frequency and a uh, standard radio telephone, which we use when we're outside of radio range, which is most of the time. It's a, it's a low probability of success uh, uh, program, and we're concentrating our efforts on the mobile laboratory, which is much more diversified in the science that it can do. Wind, wind direction, wind speed, temperature, uh, pressure, and another standard anemometer cup wind speed transducer on top. The uh, on-off switch is here, so that's all you have to access in the field. It can be deployed in about 30 seconds. The data are recorded on digital uh, tape. Total weighs about 400 pounds. and. Uh, has a uh, tip over speed of something approaching 100 miles an hour. You're in for a treat if they have all of those together. 